While the city's lawsuit says Senate Bill 4 is unconstitutional, they also provided a series of letters from local businesses, organizations, and community members who worry about it going into effect. Tonight, KXAN's Alyssa Gord spoke with a local business owner who hopes the court sides against the law. The Lima Criolla restaurant is Susana Vivanco's American dream. De ceviche, de lomo saltado, ají de gallina. Born in Peru, Vivanco, now a legal permanent resident in the U.S., brings the dishes of her home country to Austin. And she stands behind the city as they challenge the constitutionality of Senate Bill 4. I don't see any beneficial thing uh, about this uh, law because, um, you know, the Hispanic community is dense in Austin and a lot of the businesses have the employees from that community. Ivanka wrote to the court she thinks the law will hurt her business and the diversity of Austin. She says that even Hispanic community members in the U.S. legally are now talking about saying goodbye for the sake of their undocumented family members. I heard a lot of conversations that uh, they are planning to move if the law is on in, in, in Austin. Maybe they are planning to move to New Mexico, to uh, Nevada. I hope that uh, the lawmakers and the people that is going to decide on that go back and, and check what happened to Arizona, for example. She agrees that people in the U.S. illegally who commit crimes should be deported, but she's scared that this law will bring stress and pain to people with no criminal record. I was one of the ones that followed that dream too, and thanks of God, I get it, you know, but why not the others? Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. Several other groups filed similar documents, including South by Southwest organizers. They say the law could keep some from attending next year's festival. And some groups say the new Texas law is similar to an Arizona law passed in 2010. But Texas Senator Charles Perry, who wrote the new law, says there are some key differences. The Arizona was a combative, almost kind of, we're going to tell you how immigration system is going to look and work. And that's not the role of the state. Constitutionally, that's not our deal. Here is a look at some of those differences. Arizona's law let police arrest and take immigrants to federal agents. It also created penalties for employing people in the U.S. illegally. Texas law does not do either. However, the Texas law threatens public officials who violate the law with jail time, and it requires local departments to honor all detainer requests from immigration officials. Arizona's law does not do either. Both states' laws prohibit departments from limiting their enforcement of federal immigration law. Agencies do this to increase trust with immigrant communities.